Hey guys, I'm V here. Today I'm talking to you about why you'd want to use relays, which is just an electrically controllable switch as opposed to a manual light uh, on-off switch, for example, in conjunction with your home automation system. Uh, today's example, I'm going to use these LED light strips that I bought off of Amazon for cheap. Problem is, it's so cheap, the power supply, uh, you have to plug it in to turn the lights on, and you got to pull it out to turn it off. Three problems with this. I don't have an outlet really near where I want to have it be, so I got this cord uh, running all over the place. Second is I got to pull things in and out of an outlet, uh, which isn't really cool. And third, I can't connect this to any kind of rules or motion or any of that stuff. So I'm going to walk you through uh, how I do that. First step is let's actually get this wired into a relay and I'll walk you through that first. So we're at my workbench and you'll see what I did is I took that uh, uh, AC connector, the transformer, and then I cut it into, uh, I cut the wires, and you see all it really is is just these two wires here, right, and they connect it together like this, and this is what you're used to seeing. Cutting it in two now, I can actually put the relay right in the middle of this. So the first thing I did is actually connect uh, two small wires uh, into each side of those uh, white wires right there, uh, just to give myself a little bit extra room to play with, and then I reconnected the red wires into each other. And this is my relay board. As you guys know, I use the ELK, so the rainbow uh, cable up top goes back to my uh, main panel, and you'll see the eight different um, relays themselves there, and then you'll see that it goes, you can choose normally open, normally close, and common, and if you recall, those blue and brown cables that I split off the transformer get plugged right in there. That's pretty much it. That's it for the physical part. This is the Elk RP software. There's three different things I need to do within here. First of all, I'm going to create a task name, but I just have to name that task, BRN LED lights. Then I go to rules, and underneath rules, uh, whenever that task is activated, I'm going to toggle, if you recall, I plug those wires into output 16. And then finally, I happen to have a uh, security system keypad right there. Uh, so I'm going to activate that automation task event uh, every time I press the F5 button. And if all I was doing was using this through my security system keypad, I would be done. I'm going to walk you through what this looks like, but I also have this hooked into my home automation system, which is CQC, which means I can do even more cool things. Here, all I have to do, since I already set the programming, is press that once, and the lights turn on, and press that, and the lights turn off. Matter of fact, you can even see this now uh, on my home automation system, where obviously the one that is highlighted, you see it says false, and it'll take a second, it says true, and it back and says false. Now I'll just show you some more programming that you could do now that this is all plugged in. And now finally inside my home automation engine, which is uh, CQC, I can now do anything I want inside of any of my rules with those LED uh, lights. I'm going to walk you through the trivial example, which is just including this on a scheduled shutdown house event. Uh, you'll see I got a I have so many events, I need folders uh, for all these events. Uh, I could do things, you know, like on motion, turn them on and off. But let's just walk through all I have to do now to include this is uh, inside CQC, I just uh, go ahead and select the uh, BRN LED lights. I give it a value of false, which means here's all the different things I do at 12.30 a.m. every night as part of my house shutdown. I'm going to go ahead and include that one in here. Let me save that. Um, and I'll be honest with you, uh, probably as soon as this uh, video ends, I'm going to include uh, this in some of my more complicated rules as well. That's too much for this, since uh, I'll bet you many of y'all don't use CQC but you probably should if you want to have a real home automation engine. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's all there is. Thanks for watching.